That's all we got. All, all I can get is a hunter. And that's coming out of my pocket. Well, yeah, it's coming out of your pocket. You've already quoted the customer what you need to quote them for a tarp job, right? But, but we're going to put it on there as no tarp job, and we're going we're gonna to move the freight cheaper. Like it? You taking a shit? Yeah. What you doing? But we'll get loaded, get strapped down. All my straps are probably froze now because where the straps were on top of the ISO board, they were just a sheet of ice. And I tried knocking as much ice as I could off, but. It didn't help very much, so when I rolled them back up, they probably refroze to each other. So that's probably going to tweak my back a little more, I'm trying to yank them free. But anyway, let's uh, we'll get loaded. Guy just come, he already knows what what load I'm taking, so uh, he's going to get me loaded up real quick, and then we'll get on the road. Like I said, hopefully. Hopefully I can make it there by tomorrow. It's supposed to deliver eight to one Wednesday, but I think I can make it there before one o'clock tomorrow. And, uh, I don't know, we'll see. See what happens, we'll holler at y'all later. So this is the start of what we got. We got this and then two pallet, or four more pallets uh, that'll be double stack like this that are 24 foot overall uh but the problem that we're running into right now is we were told specifically this is a no tarp load 
and these folks here are saying no it's got to be tarped so if that's the case we're gonna have to get some more money more money more money more money especially dealing with uh frozen tarps so i don't know we'll find out here in a minute Obviously, uh, y'all seen blankets getting thrown, so you know what that means. And they pull that, brokers pull that shit all the time. This was specifically no tarp. And, uh, when I showed up, the guy said, uh, you know, this has got to be tarped, right? And I was like, no, Raycon says no tarp. He's like, no, it needs to be tarp. So we called the broker and his words were, oh, I messed up. I didn't put it on the paperwork. Or I didn't see it on the paperwork. Basically, that's their way of getting freight hauled cheaper than what it should be. So. We're gonna get more money now. He's only wanting to uh, come off of $100 to tarp. And I'm saying 200 minimum. I'd like 300, but 200 minimum. So we'll see what he says. You know, honestly, I'd, I'd still haul it. It's a decent rate, you know, for what it is. Just this eight pallets, three sections. Uh, it will take two tarps, unfortunately, but, uh, yeah. Like I said, that's just, that, that's their game that they play to get it hauled cheaper. And the broker that we're dealing with, I'm not going to name names, but, uh, they're well known, well <laughs> well known and it's not the one that starts with a t it's not tql you know i've honestly i haven't had very many issues out of tql tql's generally always done me right when i've hauled for them but uh this is another big broker uh yeah i'll say it starts with a k that's about as far as I'll go. But uh, anyway, we're uh, we're gonna get this tarped up, get them frozen tarps undone, rolled out. I just need to. I'm gonna go with my two light tarps. Uh, I need to get some parachute tarps. Get rid of them 18 ounce and go down to 14 ounce tarps. But uh, yeah, it's a bummer. I didn't want to have to deal with the tarps, especially right now with the back hurting. But uh, it is what it is. We'll uh, get it tarped up and get on the road.
and we're done so I don't give a damn I'll call them out it's the first load I've run from them anyway because they weren't factorable forever because of the way they pay they go way beyond 30 days I guess, I guess they got that straightened out now but like I said I'll call them out I don't give a shit it's king of freight so uh yeah like I said brokers pull that shit you know no tarp you get there oh it's got to be tarped oh my bad I didn't see it on the paperwork all right well it takes two tarps I want it I, I would like 300 for uh but it's not really a full truckload sorry it's cold out I got uh snot bubbles huh uh it's not a full truckload so yeah I don't have to run all three tarps uh so I want it 200 a hundred dollars a tarp and of course on a military load they say all you know all we could do is a hundred that's that's all we got in it so okay if a hundred's all you got then you get a hundred dollar tarp job which don't get me wrong still a damn good tarp job i mean looks good but instead of doing two they get one stops just a just a little short but you know what this shit sits outside in the snow and then they take it over there and spray it off and it needs a tar which i mean i can understand in a way you want it looking good when when it goes to their customer and uh and it will it'll look good but instead of doing two tarps i gave him one tarp screw it like i said it's all all covered even the back's covered with blankets but it's still covered but yeah like i said they won't if a hundred's all they got then they're gonna get a hundred dollar tart job I don't really care at this point that uh that bullshit that's all we got all, all I can get is a hunter and that's coming out of my pocket well yeah it's coming out of your pocket you've already quoted the customer what you need to quote them for a tarp job right but, but we're gonna put it on there as no tarp job and we're gonna we're gonna move the freight cheaper so yeah yeah stupid little broker games kind of like kind of like the other load I, I might have mentioned it in a previous video but another load uh, that we were looking at getting a couple days ago was going to the port and the broker tried pulling that shit uh oh it's a first come first serve on the crane and forklift unloads get real no if a broker tells you that ask for the contact give the port a call and check with them guarantee it's a lie the only time it's first come first serve every time i've been to the port the only time it's first come first serve is if it's a self-load tractors equipment stuff like that uh, or a self unload then yeah go up there you sign your paperwork and the only wait time you got is waiting on other trucks to load but uh if it's a crane unload or a fork unload you need an appointment but all the brokers doing what what the brokers doing is is they're trying to get a truck on the load and then they're going to hope that they can get an appointment for when you want that appointment if not it'll be a day two days three days depends on how busy the port is the last time the broker told me that shit and i fell for it uh 
luckily they were able to get me out get me unloaded that day but when i when i went in to check in the guy at the port said we're not going to get to you today you can sit out there if we can we'll get to you but it's probably going to be monday and this was on a friday so that would have put me sitting up there on a load for three days uh basically friday saturday and sunday right so yeah but anyway yeah we're uh we're tarped like i said it looks good i cut it a little short on the front cut it a little short on the back but it's it's covered they got the product covered yeah and that broker is supposed to be the team lead uh, you know what i ain't put putting my nastiest gloves beside my seat my clean bolstrom wide ride with serta this seat is a lifesaver it really is i love it i love it anyway i'm gonna hang the bucket back up and uh we're gonna get on the road we'll holler at y'all later today or tomorrow i don't know peace